What What do you think makes this senior class so special? Well, having a daughter on the team, they've all grown up together, so it's it's just I coached my oldest daughter, <clears throat> the one she played too, so it was special then, and this is my last chance right now with her, so this is even a special year. What's it been like to watch these girls grow and mature to become as successful as they are? You know, it's it's fun to watch them grow up. <clears throat> my wife pulls up some pictures from the younger days, and it's amazing how they've we really haven't gotten any taller, but <laughs> and and they're you know they've just developed. Why do you think they've been able to stick together after all these years? Um, probably the success that, that we've had going out of state tournaments, winning out of state tournaments, and they're always challenging each other to get better. Talk about the heartbreak Vanessa went through tearing her ACL and how she's been able to recover from that. <laughs> she's a really strong girl. Um, right now, she she's an asset to the team. Uh, the girls love her, and she's she's coming a long ways. She worked her butt off to get to where she is from now. When she tore her knee, I know she was devastated that she couldn't play, but she, like some of the other girls said, that she never took it for granted. She just knew she would be back someday. Talk about the car accident Reagan went through and how it affected her and the rest of the team and that recovery process as well. Um, when I first heard about the accident, it didn't really hit me at first. I'm thinking uh, whiplash, maybe concussion type, missing you know first week of practice or whatever. And then when I found out she had multiple fractures in her back, it was time to strategize for me, bring a couple young setters into a predicament they weren't quite ready for yet but I will say they did a, a job to what they could do. Um, obviously, they're not Reagan's talent-wise, but they kept the team together, and the teammates kind of just kept pulling them along and, and until the day when we knew Reagan was going to be back. Talk about what it's like to be able to coach your daughter in high school volleyball. Um, I guess really on the court, I she's just another player. I don't try to, you know, if she makes a mistake, I try to tell her what she needs to fix, just like if she's any other teammate. I really don't consider her, I guess, my daughter as on the court. Talk about the leadership qualities the seniors have. Oh, any one of them could be the team captain. Um, I've always just picked Haley, and they've just kind of accepted that. But any one of them if, could step up and take the leadership role. What is the team, what is the team doing to prepare for the – quarterfinal game against Tripoli? We've been having some really fun practices. Um, we know that we want to go down and make a statement this year. Um, since we've got this, it's new to us this couple years ago huddle, the kids can actually pull it up on their computer and study halls and watch game film, so they've been doing that. I've been trying to watch some film, and we're going down to a big scrimmage tomorrow. All the three teams there are ranked and going to the state tournament, but it's going to be fun because it's West Delaware, Lindmar, and Mount Vernon. Obviously, your season isn't over, but what are you going to miss most about this group of senior senior girls after they graduate? Um, probably the time I've spent with them. Um, probably each one of them could be my daughter, and I would take care of them. And I guess we've we spent so much time together since fifth, sixth grade on that. And the parents are just amazing. We go to tournaments, they've always got the food prepared, they've always got this done, so I don't ever have to take care of any of that stuff. All I have to do is coach.